two harvests at the end of the age. An hypothesis. Jesus spoke of the end of the age, or the end times, as a kind of harvest time. He distinguished two harvests, one a gathering of the righteous for eternal life, and the other a gathering of the wicked for the wrath of God. Jesus spoke of the first harvest, then will all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they will see the Son of Man coming upon the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and then will he send forth his angels with a great trumpet call, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from the farthest part of earth to the farthest part of heaven, and from one end of the heavens to the other. Jesus spoke of the second harvest, the weeds are the sons of the evil one, and the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the close of the age, and the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the close of the age, the Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers. The book of Revelation also describes these two harvests that will occur towards the end of the age, after three and a half years of persecution against the righteous, Jesus will return from heaven and appear in the sky, visible to the whole world. He will then lift up his true followers to meet him in the air. But before he and they return to the earth, to establish his kingdom, the wicked will suffer the wrath of God. John foresaw the first harvest, behold, a white cloud, and seated on the cloud one like a son of man, with a golden crown on his head, and a sharp sickle in his hand. And an angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Put in your sickle, and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth, and the earth was reaped. John foresaw the second harvest, then another angel came out of the temple in heaven, and he too had a sharp sickle, and another angel came out from the altar, the angel who has authority over the fire, and he called with a loud voice to the one who had the sharp sickle, put in your sickle and gather the clusters from the vine of the earth for its grapes are ripe. So the angel swung his sickle across the earth and gathered the great harvest of the earth and threw it into the great wine press of the wrath of God. Paul summarized Jesus' teaching. On the first harvest, the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, encourage one another with these words. On the second harvest, the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Then sudden destruction will come upon them and they will not escape for God has not destined us for wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us so that whether we are awake or asleep we might live with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Thus, the resurrection of the righteous from amongst the dead, will precede the time of God's wrath against unrepentant humanity but will follow the time of great tribulation and of evangelizing the whole world.